Hmm. You do four K stress. I only rec I only record two videos. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. cause I shot for King Quizzy. Yeah, I shot the video for Kizzy. So then I did the cartoon. Ah. I want to like I want the sound to pick my AC so that I can remove the AC noise. So like five seconds. I hope that was five seconds. Um guys, I talked too much. Which is an which is a conversation I had with a friend just this morning. And I'm trying to find ways to fix that problem. He said I should stop talking when I feel like I'm talking too much. And I feel like I over explain. Because right now I'm about to explain why that. <laughs> but you guys just let me know down in the comment section below if I over explain too much for you to get confused whenever it is I'm trying to you know, tutor you on tricks, tips, and how to's and all on my YouTube channel. So just let me know down in the comment section below. But why am I here? I'm not here to talk to you about my woes. I'm here to educate you on a shoot I did yesterday. It was actually for a master class. And I'm hoping to even put it out on my website. So yeah. My new website is out, check down in the description box below. Go click it, let's increase my SEO whenever somebody types to join that. Because right now I think, no, I'm over explaining, let's just leave it there. Um, so, I did a shoot yesterday, it was actually for the class like I said earlier, and some way, somehow I think I lost connection with the clients or with the person learning online. So it was an online masterclass and I decided to take some pictures for for later explanation ideally i didn't want to post it but i felt like the images came out great and equally i was going to share it with the model so if i post it i know i'll get people asking me how the image was shot and all that so this is a video trying to explain that equally i didn't shoot it behind the scenes as compared to the last time but this time around i was able to grab a very gritty footage from my gopro and the reason why it's kind of great is because of the lighting setup I was using. I didn't want to expose just so that you see how the mood was whenever I, I shoot in my studio. So what you see is what you get. So this is equally a footage of what I did the behind the scenes with all the lights and all. So let me explain the lighting. Initially, I started using a gobo with the rounded um, shape to create that, to, I mean, to create that portrait and it was more of a hard light. Right, I was trying to use the hard lights. I, I, I was actually using it to explain and I decided to use it to shoot instead of using strobes. So I started with that and I realized my shadows were deep and dark and equally I wanted to expose my shadows. So I introduced another LED light source and I bounced it off the wall in my, in my studio. And at a lower intensity of 25%, it filled in the shadows. It opened up my shadows just so that I will be able to, you know, color the said shadows that's how you're able to open up your shadows if you're using hard light sources so this is a video for leds and this is also a video for mixing hard lights and soft lights what we call layered lights and after that i think i moved the light to the right side like how i have a rim light over here rimming me from the background just to separate my subject from the background so equally i moved the lights back there i reduced the intensity to say 10% and I still had my key light which is the gobo at 100% because of the uh, because of the power from the AD the 100D so the lights I used were the Amaran 100Ds LEDs and I don't really use them much for shoots I only use them for YouTube content like these so 100D wasn't as powerful as the 200 I know you ask why didn't I just use the 200D why didn't i use it i honestly don't know i mean i felt lazy to move the set again so i just use the 200 d as a backlight reduce the light source then i use the 100 d as a key light for the second set of the pictures i mean i've posted even the behind the scene on my instagram story a snippet of one of the shoots on my instagram story and the traction is getting i'm kind of impressed so yeah you know this is what i did for this particular shoot i hope you enjoy it i hope you learned something new, I hope you like the set I created. And oh yeah, before I forget, I got this amazing chair from Maison Studio Interior. I reached out to them. I like the aesthetic that comes from this chair. But for photographers who are looking for building aesthetic stuff in their studio space, and I mean, if you're going for this 
um, auntie kind of looks. I mean, you go prop shopping, but if you're looking for aesthetic chairs, check out Maison Studios Interior. I'll link their handle down in the description box below. Affordable pricing. It comes in different colors. I actually went in for the orange, or mostly brown, but you know, to you, it looks orange because it kind of fits the aesthetic I wanted to create it. So I'm looking at even using it on a plain white, like a simplistic, minimalistic shoot. I'll do that very, very soon. But yeah, cop yourself one if you're creative looking out for props to use in the studio. And if you're not a creative and you're here on my channel and you're enjoying this particular content and you want one, I'm sure they ship outside the country. I haven't asked them yet, but if they do, just get yourself one. It's really, really cool to have it in your space. I'm looking at, you know, changing my whole room to <laughs> minimalistic vibes, brown, brown tones, green tones and all. So yeah, thank you so much maison studio interior i love this i really really do and i hope to get more from you guys so to you guys operation 10k is still in in play right i think we are 8.1 now thank you so much for that support push the content out to people give me a thumbs up because when you do that youtube recommends the video to other people to enjoy this content i just created and also make sure you subscribe subscribe is very key which is very very important to me push me to 10k by the end of the year and i mean i'm gonna probably have a surprise for you guys make sure you check out my website too all right cool website a lot of details there things i don't post on my instagram i equally post them on my website these days so yeah thank you so much and i'm not talking too much and i'll see you in the next video don't worry about that i have roommates of course they'll make noise so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video peace guys